Hi, I'm Stephen Bailey. I am... <clears throat> and I'm a stand-up comedian. And I have used online dating before, and it has yet to find me a prince. So I've used online dating on and off over the years, really. Like, since I've been single and since it's been about, I've always kind of got one of the apps. I mean, I think that's also one of the problems with it is nowadays it's almost a bit of a game. Like, I will play Tinder or Chappie or any of them while I've got a two-hour train journey to kill. So the people I would swipe yes for, Oh, it's really difficult because there's some people that are just cute and if you find someone cute you're gonna swipe yes for them but for me I really if they've got a profile and they've written something and they've tried to be witty and tried to be funny I'll tell you a bit about them and then they're cute I mean they don't have to be like really hot I mean look at what we're dealing with here but if they're cute and I find them semi attractive or a little bit attractive and then they have wrote something I tend to swipe yes so then I can at least learn more because you're not committing to anything by saying yeah. I think people don't write profiles because that's not what we're really judging each other on. And that's a bit sad. I mean, the flip argument of that is if you were in a bar and you thought someone was cute and going to ask them out, you're asking them out for the same reason because of their face before you get to know them. But I think there's a bit more tete-a-tete -tete in a bar. Uh, so obviously when I'm performing and doing my stand-up, I love to talk about online dating because I just think, you know, you're, in stand-up we're supposed to talk about observational things, we're supposed to talk about things everyone can relate to, and unfortunately the way the world is done is everyone's probably got an app on their phone. I know people in relationships that have apps on their phone, and so there's just so much good fodder. You've got the people that are, say, my age, younger, that are doing it, and so understand exactly what I'm talking about. And then you've got the people that are older, like my parents who have been together since they were like 15 or whatever, who have never experienced it, don't really understand it. And they find it funny because they can't believe this is happening in the world. Like what, like my mum said to me the other day, so you've seen this guy's dick before you've seen this guy in person. And I'm like, yeah. It's just like, that's weird. And I'm like, yeah, it is. I think the problem with this, the online dating is the messaging. And because some people respond really, really quick and some don't respond at all. And I find like, I mean, with some people, like some of the messages are, the first few messages are, hey, how's you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm really great, thanks. What have you been up to? Oh, not much. What have you been up to? And it's like, there's no chat. And I think that's one issue is there's no proper chat. But also for me, it is, I think we all get a bit paranoid when, because these, online dating websites they don't just tell some of them tell you when your message has been read some of them have, at least if they don't tell you that tell you when the person's been last online so sometimes you know you've sent this message that you thought was hella and top bants and then they've not responded but they've been online an hour ago and yet they've chosen not to respond to my message a little bit of me does think it's a bit vacuous on the internet just because you can be you can, it literally is ticking boxes like I would like someone this distance away. I would like someone this age bracket, this height, non-smoker. I feel like, oh my God, it's like ticking it straight away feels a bit superficial, but I guess that's the world we're in. The Kardashians are basically the president. None of my boyfriends have been the same in any way. I've gone out with people that are camper than I am, if you can believe it, or more mask, or taller and shorter, older, younger. Like I've gone out with all the different species terms of people where I wonder if that's why online dating doesn't work for me because I don't have a clear vision and I kind of get a bit of joy from the dance in Sex and the City. Carrie calls it the Zaza Zoo. I want to feel the Zaza Zoo and I think I'm daft enough to still believe in the Zaza Zoo of going that oh there's a natural chemistry here. There's a natural dance and then hope it works out or it's just another dating disaster. Me who is a bit airy-fairy, flighty, still believes that if I was put in the Snow White curse of sleeping, I believe that there would be a true love to wake me up. I'd have to find him, or some of the dwarves would, but I think for me it wouldn't work because I don't know, I don't know what he looks like, I don't know what his job is, I don't know how old he is, I just know that we have a chemistry, we've got a lot to say to each other, we make each other laugh, um, so I think that's why online dating wouldn't work for me because 
it's very rare that I find someone whose written sentence makes me laugh, whereas someone who walks into, say, a bar and trips over an umbrella, I, I feel like he might be my soulmate. <laughs>